This is the story of Takiel Dean, who is regarded as the greatest scientist and engineer of the Ottoman Empire. Al Dean made significant contributions to areas as diverse as optics, horology, hydraulics, and steam power. He authored more than 90 books on a wide variety of subjects, ranging from astronomy and natural philosophy to engineering, mathematics, mechanics, and clocks. These books contain detailed descriptions and discussions of his work, and many were translated into European languages. These translated copies would eventually help spark the European Renaissance. Al Dean rivaled da Vinci in vision, what? but his name was almost lost to history. Before building machines, he was a judge and religious scholar in Cairo, but his mind was never far from engineering and innovation. In 1571, the Ottoman Sultan Selim II summoned him to Istanbul as chief astronomer. He found that the official patronage gave him the time and resources to devote himself full-time to science and engineering. During his time under Selim II, he built a weight-driven astronomical clock with an alarm and described early steam machines in his book, The Sublime Methods of Spiritual Machines. Selim II died in 1574, and al Din convinced his successor, Murad III, to fund the world's most advanced observatory. With the completion of the observatory in 1577, al Din set to work designing and building precision instruments, such as a sextant similar to the one at the observatory of Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe. And, perhaps his greatest achievement, he built a spring-driven clock, unrivaled in its accuracy at the time, with dials showing the hours, minutes, and seconds. Though his clock divided a minute into only five seconds, unfortunately, al Din was less proficient as an astrologer, which was part of his duties as chief astronomer. An incorrect prediction about Ottoman victories so enraged ah. Sultan Murad III that he destroyed the observatory in 1580. al Din died five years later at the height of the Ottoman Empire's military power as his books spread to Europe to eventually help European science eclipse that of the Islamic scientific achievements.